welcome to our guide to the Hakone Free Pass. This pass offers unlimited rides on transportation within the Hakone area. Hakone is located near Mount Fuji and is known for its natural beauty and onsen hot springs. It's a wonderful location to get a view of Mount Fuji on a clear day. Our family visited in June and unfortunately we couldn't see Mount Fuji due to the clouds. The winter time would be a better time of year for clear skies. Hakone is a popular day trip or weekend getaway from Tokyo. Our family recently spent six days there and we really enjoyed our time. We hope to return someday in the winter and soak in the hot springs. The duration of the Hakone Free Pass is either two or three days, and that means two full days or three full days. So regardless of what time you start using it on your first day, that counts as day one. These are our Hakone Free Passes. Depending upon which type of pass you're issued, you can either show your pass at the window as you pass through the ticket gate, or you can insert it into the slot of the automatic ticket gate. If you have that type and there is no automatic gate, just show your pass at the window. There is also a digital version you can purchase to show on your cell phone. There are two types of Hakone Free Pass available. You can either get the type that includes round trip transportation from Shinjuku Station in Tokyo to Hakone, or you can get a pass that includes just transportation within the Hakone area, starting from Odawara Station. If you get the type starting from Shinjuku, that includes only one round trip between Shinjuku and Odawara Station on the Odaku Line. Once you get into the Hakone area, then unlimited rides are allowed on the covered transportation networks. If you opt for the pass starting from Shinjuku Station, it includes transportation on a regular train on the Odaku Line. You may want to upgrade your trip from Shinjuku to Hakone to the Romance Car, which is a limited express train operated by Odaku Railway. Upgrading to the Romance Car costs an additional fee above the price of the Hakone Free Pass. It is an additional 1,200 yen per adult or 600 yen per child, one direction, for children 6 to 11 years old. The advantage of taking the Romance Car train is that you will have a reserved seat, so you don't have to run the risk of there being standing room only. If you're traveling in a group of four people, you can swivel around a pair of seats so that you end up with a quad of four seats facing each other. You can board the romance car at Shinjuku Station at either platform two or three of the Odaku line. The Hakone Free Pass includes unlimited rides on eight transportation networks within Hakone, including Hakone Tozan Train, Hakone Tozan Bus within the designated area, Hakone Tozan Cable Car, Hakone Ropeway, Hakone Sightseeing Cruise, Tokai Bus, Designated Areas, Odaku Highway Bus, Designated Areas, and the Hakone Tozan Bus that's specifically for tourist attraction sightseeing. There are no Shinkansen bullet trains included in this pass. It's low-paced sightseeing. The farthest reaches of the Hakone Free Pass are Odawara Station, Tokai Bus to Mishima Station, and buses going to Gotemba. The Hakone Free Pass includes transportation for the popular sightseeing route visiting Lake Ashi and Awadakani Volcanic Valley. As an example, for this sightseeing loop, you could start from Shinjuku Station, board the Romance Car on Platform 2 or 3 of the Daku Line, ride the Romance Car to Hakone Yamoto Station, approximately 80 minutes. If you need somewhere to store your bags while sightseeing, there are luggage lockers at Hakone Yamoto Station, although they might be full on busy weekends. If the lockers are full, there's also baggage storage available, but slightly more expensive. Or if you're coming out just for a day trip, you could leave your bags at Shinjuku Station at the Odaku Sightseeing Services Center. Once you arrive at Hakone Yamoto train station, you can exit and go down the stairs or elevator to the left to the bus stop outside. Take the Hakone Tozan bus from stop number two to Moto Hakane Ko. This is approximately 40 minutes and it is a very windy mountain road. If you're prone to motion sickness and especially if you're standing the whole way, this might not be the most pleasant bus ride. Walk about 20 minutes to visit Hakone Jinja Shrine. If you'd like to take a photo with the famous Tori on the edge of Lake Ashi, anticipate waiting up to an hour in line to take a photo. Walk back to Moto Hokani Coast Station and board the pirate ship Sightseeing Cruise. It takes approximately 30 minutes to cross Lake Ashi. 
The basic fare for the sightseeing ship is included in the Hakone Free Pass. If you would like to upgrade to the first class cabin and access to the ship's forward deck, there is an additional fee of 480 yen one way. The boat lands at Togendai. If you'd like to enjoy a sit down meal with a view of the lake, you can eat at Togendai View Restaurant. Order through the machine and then wait till your ticket numbers are called to pick up your food. From Togendai, ride the Hakone Ropeway up the mountain to Awadakani Volcanic Valley, approximately 16 minutes. It does stop one time along the way, but you can just stay on the ropeway. Once at Awakodani, you can enjoy the view of the volcanic valley and the smell of sulfur wafting in the air. The local specialty is black boiled eggs. These eggs are hard boiled in the Watakani hot springs water and the sulfur in the water turns their shells black. Don't worry, it still tastes like a regular boiled egg. Nice and hot and fresh. Eating one egg is said to extend your life by seven years. If you have time, there is also a Hakone Geo Museum that you could visit. When you're ready to continue on, take the Hakone Ropeway to Sunzan Station, approximately eight minutes. Transfer to Hakone Tozan Cable Car and ride down the steep hill to Koen Kami Station, approximately seven minutes. Visit the quaint and beautiful Gora Garden. Admission to the garden is free with a Hakone Free Pass. Get back on the Tozan Cable Car and continue downhill to Gora Station, approximately five minutes. Right outside Gora Station is Nuka Fuku with delicious gluten-free donuts and a selection of souvenirs. Mm. It's kind of like the cream puff. Yeah, we're lucky we got the last ones of the day, you guys. This time it's probably with pretty much fries. Mm. Yeah, well, well, From Gora Station, take the Hakone Tozan train to Hakone Yamoto Station, approximately 40 minutes. This train travels down the steep hillside in a zigzagging series of switchbacks. If the train pauses and then starts going back the same direction you came from, don't worry, it's just the train's way of making its way down the mountainside. During mid-June to July, the train is known as the Hydrange Train due to the beautiful flowers blooming along the railway. Once back at Hakone Yamoto Station, day trippers can head back to Shinjuku Station. Even if you're coming out just for a one day trip, it's still worth it to get this Hakone Free Pass if you're going to do the sightseeing loop covering all the transportation we just mentioned. The bus, the sightseeing boat, the ropeway, cable car, and train, they're all covered. If you're spending two or three days in Hakone, you may want to do some shopping near the station, eat dinner, and head to your accommodation. Restaurants and shops close fairly early, so don't expect any nightlife here. The Hakone Free Pass also offers discounts at many attractions and eateries in Hakone. For example, we receive discounts at the Open Air Museum, Craft House in Gora Park, and Natural History Museum. Basically, anywhere you go in Hakone, it's worth asking if you get a discount with the pass. Here is the fare table for both the two and three day passes, departing from either Shinjuku or Odawara Station. Adult prices are for ages 12 years old and up, and children prices are for ages 6 to 11 years old. So we didn't need to pay for our five-year-old or for our two-year-old. To us, the Hakone Free Pass is worth it not only to save on transportation, but also for the convenience. For instance, when we were getting on the ropeway, there were other people standing in line waiting to use the ticket machines, whereas we could just zoom right past and get right on the ropeway. There are multiple ways to purchase the Hakone Free Pass. We actually used two three-day passes back-to-back -back to cover our six-day trip. Our first pass we purchased online from Kluk. We received a digital email confirmation and it also appeared in the Kluk app on my phone. We paid US dollars 47 per adult and also $10 for our nine-year-old since we didn't have to pay for a five-year-old or our two-year-old. To pick up the actual passes, we went to the Shinjuku train station and waited in line at the Odaku Sightseeing Services Center. While there, we also paid an additional 3,000 yen or approximately 21 US dollars to upgrade the romance car. So that was for two adults and one child. We almost bought a ticket for the romance car for our five-year-old. However, we were kind of dissuaded from doing it, being told that the romance car probably wasn't gonna be full that specific day. And also if we bought three seats facing each other, it wasn't likely that anybody would purchase the fourth seat in that quad. I will leave our Kluk affiliate link in the description box below the video. We really appreciate the commissions we earn when you purchase through our affiliate links. You can also purchase a digital Hakone Free Pass 
directly from Odaku Railway on your smartphone. The only issue with this is that you cannot have multiple passes on one phone, so each member of your party needs to have their own smartphone with their pass on it. The second time that we purchased the Hakone Free Pass, we bought it in person at the Hakone Yamoto Station. This time we purchased the pass that only covers the Hakone area as far as Odawada Station. And then when we were ready to leave Hakone, we separately bought tickets for the romance car back to Shinjuku Station. The version of the pass that only covers the Hakone area is 1,000 100 yen less expensive since it doesn't cover that round trip from Shinjuku to Odawara. The Odaku Railway website says that currently Hakone free passes cannot be purchased from ticketing machines. In a separate video, we're going to share more things to do in Hakone to fill a two or three day itinerary. There's plenty to do there. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe for more travel tips. Our family is traveling long term. We're currently in beautiful Japan.